Yeah, Coach, congratulations. Much needed win. Thank you, Mike. But uh, what the heck was that at the end there? Uh, whatever worst word you can use to describe it, you can use to describe it. You know, we, uh, we got a couple yards on the first round, first run, and, the, you know, luckily we were down. The ball came out then. You know, the offensive coaches um, all thought the uh, boot play had a chance to work on the second one to get the first down because they had all their three timeouts. If we didn't get a first, we were going to have to punt. And, um, and obviously it didn't. And you'd like for uh, Teddy, if it's not clean, to run with it and keep the clock going. And then obviously the fumble on the third down, you know, so it was awful. It was a terrible, terrible series of downs for us. Vic, on the flip side, your defense had to win it twice with the yeah. inside. Um, how impressed were you with the guys? You had to plug in there because a lot of backups were in there. Yeah, you know, we're down five of the seven starters on, for the front right now. And then by that time, we were down uh, Bryce also. So we had a lot of guys in there that hadn't played a lot of football for us, and a couple of them just got here. So very proud of those guys, happy for them, and uh, hopefully it's something that we can build on with them. A little bit, I did, yes. Hey, Vic. Uh, first off, was, was Baron Browning calling the place for the defense today? He was. And secondly, just the mindset there at the end, having to go back to back uh, on the defense, going back out on the field to get those two stops. What yeah, was the obviously the frustration and surprise or shock, whatever word you want to use that you all were feeling, imagine what they were feeling. They had to go out there and play. But I was impressed. They went out there, strapped it up, and got it done. You know, we got a big sack. I believe that was by Malik, wasn't it? And um, so that pushed him back farther. And, um, you know, the series before was big, too, because the interception that Justin got, you know, we practice that defense every week, but it hardly ever gets called because the situation doesn't come up very often. And kudos to those guys. And we had some new guys in there doing it, and we executed it well, and Justin got the pick. Well, speaking of Justin and, and Malik and Shelby, can you just, I guess, talk about their games? Yeah, I mean, from the sideline, um, I thought they played well. We were getting pretty good pass rush the whole game. Um, you know, I was impressed with our guys' efforts. You know, we had a good mindset and a good focus. And, it, um, you know, we had a chance there with it being 10-3. It was hopeful that we could come out and get something going and make it a two-score game, even if it was just a field goal. Uh, but we weren't, you know, and they just kept fighting. And, you know, and we finally broke and gave up a touchdown there. But uh, the guys kept fighting, you know, and I was really impressed with the resiliency of the group. Yeah, so we saw some of that passion when Justin got that uh, deflection on the first drive. Shelby was animated. Did you feel like that had resonated from the week, that there was carryover yeah. and a sense of urgency? And is that something this team can build on? Absolutely. Yes, yes, and absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Jerry, just first game back, what did you think of him? I yeah, I thought he uh, played well. Obviously, I need to see the tape. Uh, I know he had a couple catches, I believe. What, what did he end up with? You guys know? I haven't seen the stats yet. What did Jerry have, Patrick? Four for 39. Four for 39, and a couple of them were big, you know. And um, I think his ankle bothered him a little bit there late. Uh, but it was a good decision to not play him last week. Obviously, he needed a week of practice which was our decision. You know, he was medically cleared and he wanted to play, but I just didn't feel it was the right thing to do. And hopefully he'll come out of the game feeling better. Get, got maybe hopefully it just got a little calloused, you know, playing football for the first time since week one, and hopefully we'll get a good game out of him next week. Hey, Vic, uh, what's the update on Garrett Bowles and Bryce Kelly? He's got an out. Uh, Garrett's got an ankle. That's all I know right now. And Bryce has got a knee. Um, I don't think it's... Bad, bad, but to the extent, I don't, I don't know yet. It kind of got hyperextended there. Vic, how close was Vaughn to playing? Um, really not that close. He, um, if you'd, you know, I thought on Tuesday or Wednesday he'd make it, but he never made enough progress to where he felt, you know, he could push off on it. And so I didn't want to dress him and let him go out there and say, hey, I can't go and we're down a guy. You know, we... Um, 
we dress, you know, we didn't dress Spence tonight, as you know, and the reason for that is because we're trying to get the best special teamers up, you know, the cover guys, the blockers. Tyree does that. And with our linebacker situation the way it is, we needed some of them. We took a chance of really only dressing three linebackers, ILBs, that could play. Um, you know, Jonas hadn't played for us at all. So it was a little bit of a roll of the dice there, but that was the thinking behind Spence not dressing. We wanted Kendall available to play wide out. He's our fourth wide out. And with Jerry's situation, um, we, Kendall had to now return the punts. Vic, three blocked field goals in the last two games. The, the two today really seemed to kind of help change the complexion of the game. What, what's just kind of been your impression of kind of Tom's continued work with those guys to be able yeah, to? Yeah, those guys up front do a great job. They take a lot of pride in it. Tom studies it hard for them. And they were huge, you know. It was kind of a – they missed two slash blocked and we missed one. So we came out one to the good there, which obviously was big. You know, them having to score a touchdown at the end versus a field goal – you know, obviously very big. How do you assess uh, where this team is at four and four beyond you are what your record says you are? Um, you know, we, we've got to improve, keep improving, obviously. Uh, we've got to be able to score more points. You know, that's obvious. Uh, we got to be able to sustain drives more often. That's obvious. Um, we're still not totally honed up. When I say honed up, uh, we know what we're doing. We got to play the run a little bit better. Okay? There were times where, you know, we're in calls where they're getting five or six and they shouldn't be getting five or six. So overall play offensively has to improve, obviously. Our run defense still has to improve. And those are some, made, those are some areas. Vic, after an inning like that, is it more excitement that you want or relief that you want? <laughs> Both, probably 50-50, um, you know, especially the way the game was going, you know, because I thought we had a great mindset. I think you guys have commented and you felt it, and um, we needed to win that game. I think I'm just, what can you do on offense? I mean, you've spent a lot of time looking at numbers in this league, and if you, you can't get above 20, that's a hard way to live, is it not? Yeah, it is. And... Uh, we're going to Dallas next, and I thought I saw somewhere laying in bed, I think it was last night, that Dallas scored over 35 in their last four games. Is that true? I think I saw that little tidbit. So we better get some points. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.